Windows XP mode. It's the best of both worlds. The new Windows XP mode lets you run older Windows XP business software right on your Windows 7 desktop. Designed primarily with small and medium sized businesses in mind, Windows XP mode comes as a separate download and works only with Windows 7 Professional and Ultimate. Windows XP mode also requires virtualization software, such as Windows Virtual PC. Both are available free on the Microsoft website. To download Windows XP mode or learn more about its system requirements, visit the Windows Virtual PC website. Before we can install Windows XP mode or Virtual PC, we will need to determine which version of Windows we are running. We can click on our start globe, right click on computer, and choose properties. This tells me that I'm running Windows 7 Professional and that it's the 64-bit version. Now that I know this, I can go to Google and type in Windows XP mode as my search. This will give me the link to the Virtual PC page. Once on this page, I can select my operating system as well as the language. Once this is in place, it will give us our choices. Notice Windows XP mode is 500 megabytes in size and may take a while to download. The virtual PC is what we need first, so we'll go ahead and download it. It will ask us to validate our software. Once Windows is validated, it will allow the download process. Being that this is time consuming, we'll go ahead and skip to where we have downloaded. To use Windows XP mode, you should first install Windows Virtual PC which is the program that runs virtual operating systems on your computer. Then you can install Windows XP mode, which is a fully licensed version of Windows XP with Service Pack 3. I've already downloaded and created a folder called WinXP mode that I put all my files in. Remember, we're using a 64-bit version of the operating system. I downloaded both the 32-bit as well as the 64-bit. So let's double click on it. It will ask me if I want to install the update and I will of course choose yes. Then I will accept the license agreement and it will begin my install. After Virtual PC is in place, I can then go ahead and install Windows XP mode. However, after this install, it will ask me to restart the computer. Now that we have installed Virtual PC, we can go ahead and install Windows XP mode by double clicking on its executable file. we can go ahead and click Next. We'll go ahead and use the default folder for the install and allow it to go ahead and install the software on the computer. Just like the normal install of Windows XP, this may take a little while. Windows XP mode has now been installed on our computer. So if we go to Start, All Programs, Windows Virtual PC, we can now click on Windows XP mode, which will start the operating system.
depending on how much RAM you have in the computer will determine how long it takes to open. Now we have a fully functional version of Windows XP running over Windows 7. We can determine whether we want to run it in full screen mode or toggled in a window with this setting. In a few moments we will install a program under XP mode. When you install a program in Windows XP mode, the program becomes available for use in both Windows XP mode and Windows 7. Antivirus software isn't included with Windows XP mode. Even if your computer is running Windows 7 with antivirus, you should also install antivirus software in Windows XP mode to help defend your computer against viruses. To install a program under Windows XP mode, you would need to open XP mode in a window like we have on our desktop. You would then place your disk into the CD-ROM or DVD-ROM drive and then go to My Computer. Once you see My Computer is opened, you can then right-click on your CD-ROM and choose Explore. We will then look for the setup file, if available, or Auto Run, and double click on it. Then it would be like installing any other program. You just follow the instructions and the program will then install. I hope you found this video helpful, and please visit my microcenter on youtube.com. Thank you.